Hello, hello, and welcome back to Thomas Talks. Hope you guys are keeping well during lockdown, we're ever so closely edging towards more freedom. <laughs> we're now in July and we're still not even, I think, in phase three lockdown, but we're hopefully getting an update this first day we can go to the cinema or the gym, something like that, something normal. But anyway, digress. Hopefully you guys are all keeping safe and well. I wanted to quickly show you guys a quick video on kind of comparing La Florene, which is kind of like a stable kind of everyday brand with a bit more of an upmarket brand such as Prada and hopefully you guys enjoy this video it's a bit more on focus on menswear as per usual with this channel so stay tuned for this video so these are the two tops in question I thought we'd start off with I've got a couple of Faf Lauren tops, I thought I'd start with the most kind of normal <laughs> colour, I've got like pinks and blues and stuff, I'll start off with grey. I've worn this obviously the past couple of years, I uh, bought this late last year and I actually had a chance to wear it. If anybody knows, I got this in Bister Village, so the original starting price for the Prada Polo Top is £270 in the UK and I got it on sale for £63. If anybody's had a look at it recently, you can pay anywhere up from £60-£70 for the Polo La Florian top. Uh, so I really want to quickly show you guys, is it worthwhile getting a Prada top or La Florian for the same kind of money? Uh, so we'll start off with the La Florian. So if we jump on here, as you can see, you've got the little logo at the top, the same Polo by La Florian, made in China. This particular one's custom fit, and the material is just the kind of cotton. And as you can probably get, it's hard to see, but the feel has been washed a couple of times, but the texture's still pretty good. It's well lasted, and overall the fit's pretty decent. I quite like the cut. They're very similar, actually, in terms of well, how the polo shirt would be cut. I quite like the two-tone pattern on the Prada one. But the Prada one up here's got the little Prada logo up there, and that's all it says. All the other information is going to be up and on the inside. In here, and this particular one's also made in China, so this shows you that both these companies are using the kind of cheaper labour and everything to make the products. Very similar again with the button side. We've got the two buttons up here, and we've got the two buttons up here in the La Florin one. They've kind of got the same clear pearlescent uh, button, and then the Prada one's got that, but this time it says Prada actually on the button, so they went into a little bit more detail. And the material, side by side, the kind of woven cotton, you can see it's a little bit kind of, I'd say, more dense in comparison. As you can see that in the camera, kind of the way the cross knitting has been done. However, the actual overall quality feel is very similar. There's not really much in it in terms of softness or toughness or durability, I'd say. The stretch is pretty similar as well. Wouldn't actually be surprised if they're <laughs> made in a similar factory. And down at the bottom, we've got the little split, which is a little bit larger than the La Florian tops. They've always got that bit at the bottom that kind of tucks down behind the back of your trousers. And the Prada one, the split's a lot smaller and more even. And you can see the stitching going across if it focuses in. This is really slightly different to the stitching, a little more wider and kind of um, diagonal. The focus is on, there we go. And we've kind of got straight stitching going across on the La Florin one. And Prada, being Prada, I've put a little bit of a logo on the side there, just because it's not really on your chest, but brazen in front, so you wouldn't really know it could just be any kind of plain top, and it's kind of why I went for this, instead of, because it's not shouting out in your face. And the same with La Florin, I quite like their styles because they're kind of classic. So in conclusion, I think the La Florin stuff is like really good quality and good brand and it's served me well over the years and I recommend that for anybody looking to get a polo top. Classic kind of timeless design. The Prada one, if you can get it on sale like I did for £60, definitely worth it because it gives you something a bit different and you get the Prada name, but in terms of quality, I wouldn't say that's three times the price in terms of quality until La Florin one. And that's just kind of my two cents in the matter. 
So I just want to say thanks very much for watching this video on the La Florene vs Prada top um, comparison video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Thomas Talks below, and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.